Next, we're going to talk about finding slope from two ordered pairs. We could plot these points on a graph, but sometimes the points are so large it would require a, a large graph, and it's more convenient to find the slope using a different formula. This formula has the y's on top, and it's y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. If you remember from the previous lesson, that slope is always a fraction, and this formula, we see it again as a fraction. Okay? To use this formula, we're going to use two different ordered pairs. These are any two points that lie on the line. In this case, we've got the point negative 1, 15, and negative 10, 0. This is the first point, so we're going to name this point, or this ordered pair, x1 and y1, where the y... The ones actually stand for being the first point. And this would, in negative 10, 0, we have our second x and our second y. To find the slope, we're just going to plug these four numbers into our formula, starting with y2 minus y1. So we would have 0 minus 15. In the denominator, we would have negative 10 minus negative 1. The minus negative turns to plus positive. We have negative 15 divided by negative 9. Okay. If you remember from integers, a negative divided by a negative is always a positive. So we're going to take our two negatives, negative 15 over negative 9, and make them positive 15 over positive 9. And then from there, we still need to reduce our fraction. 3 goes into both 15 and 9. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the slope of the line between these two points would be 5 thirds. Let's look at another ordered pair. 3, negative 4, and 3, 2. First we will label our x1 and y1. And then the next ordered pair will be x2 and y2. Remember, y's go on top when solving for slope. So we would do y2 minus y1. So 2 minus negative 4 and 3 minus 3 for our x2 minus x1. 2 minus negative 4 again turns to plus positive, and that gives us 6, and 3 minus 3 is 0. When the zero is underneath, when the zero is underneath on our fraction, the slope is undefined. The slope is undefined. Over here we have our final example, negative 5, 7, and negative 3, 7. Go through the same process again with these two ordered pairs. x1 and y1, x2 and y2. y's go on top. y2 is 7 minus y1, which is 7. x2 minus x1 would be negative 3 minus negative 5. 7 minus 7 is 0, and negative 3 minus negative 5 to plus positive, positive 2. When 0 is on the top, the slope is 0. Thank you for watching this lesson on slope.